in patients that have not been diagnosed before, it's kind of hard because if, if you don't know you have this problem, maybe yeah. you've had migraine or what you've been told you have migraine headaches your whole life. I think it's it's hard to wake up one morning and not be able to see and to understand what's happening or to realize that your peripheral vision is missing when before it was okay. I think I think that's going to be a, a hard thing for somebody who doesn't have the knowledge about what's going on to 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 immediately uh, recognize yeah. that as uh, as IH. However, theoretically, they should recognize the fact that they can't see, and hopefully, they'll go to the emergency room. The good thing is these patients tend to have um, relatively severe papilledema, so even a novice who looks in the eye should probably be able to tell it. And we'll get and and because papilledema is really only seen with high pressure in the head, and most ER doctors or ophthalmologists or uh, whoever the optometrists even they are familiar with papilledema and know that it means uh oh ER, and so many people end up there. I think it's a yeah that is a great one. It is the you know most of these uh, patients they end up either in the emergency room. Nobody's saying as an IAH, they are coming in as a sudden deterioration of the vision. Mm -hmm. And almost always, by the time we get called in, the ophthalmologist saw the patient, he said, oh, this is a grade three, grade, or not even grade three, it is usually grade four papilledema, they are calling us as. So it's mainly the presenting is rapid worsening of the vision in a, yeah. in a week or within a couple of days. That is what is bringing them to us.